Let's talk in this video about strings in C Sharp. Let's go ahead and create our project for strings. .NET New Console. I'll put that to working with strings. I'll open up that project and i will put in here just some nice string values let me call that first string value let me say today second string value is third string value no, let me eliminate this good day all right let's say i want to work with these three string values i want to output this to my console i could do this console dot right line i put in first string value plus second string value plus to string value what i'm doing here is called concatenation but there will be a little bit of problem with this because there will not be spaces in between these strings i'll fix that in a little while but first let us run this you see today is a good day we printed to the console for us but without the necessary spaces so we need to fix that so we'll need to put in some spaces inside here and then a space in between here then let's run this again and we should get a result that is nice to see in our eyes another way we could do a concatenation you know what let me assign this to a variable let me call this first concatenation concatenation I fix this up then let me have my second concatenation concatenation so concatenation is a concept where we combine string values together in C sharp concatenation pardon my spelling for a little while there all right second kind of concatenation we can have is to use an array placeholder okay so we can have um this is best in a console i put anyways but I'm trying it out here to see if it actually would work. Now, this is a trial. Let me see if that would work before I proceed. I think it actually worked. Nice. So, I'll put it to the console in a little while. And the third kind of concatenation I can have is to use string interpolation. Concatenation. And here, I will introduce the dollar sign in front of the string value. Then, I will call a variable inside here. Inside the curly bracket to denote that I am putting it inside the string so it gets the literal value it gets the value of that variable and joins it with the other string characters that i have in here so in here i can also put in second string value and then also i join the third string value to this right let me try to print it out to the console. So I do a console dot right line. Put in here my first kind of concatenation.
and move this down here move this down here replace this variable no that's not a concatenation it's concatenation let me save that and run this now I think this will be a little bit problematic now mm. I think I missed a bit of stuff here okay the first one worked I get today's a good day I get today's a good day here but I'm missing a little bit here so you know what let me get rid of this and let me try this instead Seems this also worked just fine and I think this is a new stuff in C sharp I think where I can just add this in here like this let me see if this one would work aha now I have problems okay so for this bit here for the second bit here let me actually do this the old nice way so what I'll do here is you know what let me undo all the changes I've done earlier on and uh, make this come in the right way so instead of having to do this I'll put a console the right line in front of this and I'll get rid of this line here and what this will do for me is it will make this this curly bracket stuff into placeholder values for any values that come after the comma so if I run this code here it will give me first string value inside here second string value inside one and third string value inside it. so this is called the array placeholder method of string concatenation there's a lot of things I can do with strings concatenation is one of them another bit is actually working with escape sequences now in C sharp there are some reserved characters for example this here this here we can also create our own uh, set of characters we want to use this special C sharp characters inside our code or we want to make some very special uh, annotations on our code for example I want to create a new line in my code so what I can do is you know what let me use this same um, first second and third string value and what I'll do in here is I would say uh, I want to use escape sequences escape sequences let us uh, do some special things with strings so for example I want to create a new line after today so I can do a console dot right line then in here from here on our business string literals a lot and in that string literal I would put in the first string value and for that I would create a new line and put in the second second string value and then for the third string value I'll put in a tab Third string value. So what happens here is whenever C sharp sees a character that has a backward slash, it treats the next character after it as an escape sequence of some special sorts. And then this is new line and this gives a tab. There's a whole lot of escape sequences that are available in C sharp. This is just a little bit of them. If I run this code now, today would be on a line. There's a little bit of problem in this code. Oh, I'm missing a semicolon at the end. Let me fix that and run again. And once I run that, I'll see today. Is comes on a new line because of this escape sequence. And then it's a good day as a tab in between because of this escape sequence. You can check more on escape sequences from the Microsoft official documentation. There's a lot of other things we can do with strings. For example, there's actually the string builder class that you can use in C sharp but I wouldn't be looking into that in this video we'll be looking into that when we get into practice using Visual Studio because of the intelligence that C sharp and Visual Studio has to offer us so that's a little bit about strings in C sharp we'll do more advanced stuff with strings as we go forward in our C sharp learning if you 
you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will get notifications when i post new videos on this channel see you in another video goodbye